Hi guys, this is Nikhil. So in this video, we will try to understand the questions regarding board plot analysis or board plot in control systems because definitely you will be expecting one or the other question wherever there is control system included in the syllabus in most of the competitive examinations. So it is very much essential and it is very easy about board plots. So let us try to understand this concept through some previous questions because if this way helps us to clear our understanding better what is required for a competitive exam and we can cover our subject as soon as possible. So I have taken a question here as you can see on the board from gate 2009 electrical engineering paper. In this question he has given you a board plot something like this and he has given you to find out the transfer function and he has given you some options which represent the transfer function. So board plot as I was telling it comes under frequency response analysis of control systems. So whenever you talk about frequency response, we generally study two response that is the response of the magnitude and the response of the phase angle of the transfer function. We have already discussed about that very briefly because in frequency response the variable parameter is the omega which is frequency. You will vary omega from 0 to infinity and you will check what is the magnitude of that particular transfer function how the magnitude is varying with respect to frequency so that is the magnitude response and next what you will do is you will find out the phase angle how it is varying from 0 to omega when the when the frequency is varying from 0 to omega then you will find out what is the phase angle of the system so that using these values of magnitude and phase you will make a plot against omega so that is called as magnitude plot and another one is called as a phase plot and uh, that is the essence of or I can say the gist of frequency response analysis. So in frequency response analysis there are analytical ways and pictorial ways to do this kind of a magnitude versus phase analysis. So border plot comes the first of that pictorial analysis. So using some graphs and some pictures we will try to plot these variations of magnitude and phase and we will try to find out the response or the analysis of the system. So likewise, whenever you talk about a board plot, in board plot you will have a board magnitude plot and a board phase plot. Board plot has got two parts, one is board magnitude plot and board phase plot. In board magnitude plot, we will plot the magnitude of the system at certain corner frequencies, at certain corner frequencies. Corner frequencies are nothing but, corner frequencies are nothing but the frequency at which a pole or zero gets activated or it starts showing its response in the system. Why? Because you know what is a pole. Let us say there is a pole S plus A. So S is equal to minus A. So this is the pole. So this value of pole A which is there itself is the omega or the frequency where this pole exists or where this pole will start functioning at that frequency. So that frequency is called as the corner frequency. Understood? So next another thing regarding Bode plot I want to discuss is before going into Bode plot, there are generally three types of systems. First type of system is called as minimum phase system. A system is nothing but a transfer function mathematically. So I call that transfer function as a minimum phase transfer function. What do you mean by a minimum phase transfer function? Let us say I am drawing the pole zero diagram for one transfer function. In this transfer function the pole zero diagram is something like this. Now what do you find, what speciality do you find in this pole zero diagram? You see that all the poles and all the zeros are on the right hand or on the left hand side of the S plane. So that is called as a minimum phase transfer function system. So it is that system where poles, all poles and zeros are in LHS. So that is called as a minimum phase transfer function. One important aspect that you have to remember is Bode plot can be applied only for minimum phase transfer function. Bode plot is applicable for a minimum phase transfer function system only. So best way of representing let us say so this example transfer function is the model of a minimum phase transfer function. Now if you look at this particular transfer function you see that all the zeros and poles are on the left half of the S plane. 
that is a minimum phase transfer function and only for such systems we can find out the board plot next system is called as all pass transfer function or it is also called as all pass filter or i can also say it is that system or that filter or that device which will have unity gain at all frequencies that means it will allow all frequencies that is the reason why it is called as a all pass transfer function or all pass system or all pass filter so when you look at the structure of this transfer function if i make the pole zero diagram of this transfer function it has got all the poles on the left hand side and all the zeros on the right hand side and not only that and poles and zeros are symmetrical symmetrically lying about the imaginary axis let us say pole is on the left hand side and it is minus a and it will definitely have a symmetrical zero on the rhs which is a similarly there is two symmetrical conjugate complex conjugate poles on the lhs exactly a mirror image will be there which will be the zeros on the rhs so that is an all pass system so if i see a model transfer function how does it look like means it may be something like this so this is the transfer function of a all pass transfer function next is a non minimum phase transfer function or a non minimum phase system it is that system at least a zero is in rhs and provided that all the poles are on the lhs so please keep that in mind for example so example the transfer function may look like this now if you see one zero is on the lhs two poles are on the lhs but only one zero is on the rhs so this is called as a non minimum phase transfer function so there is a relationship between these three type of transfer functions in terms of its magnitude and phase what is that relation means let us say i am having a non minimum phase system nmps that will be nothing but i am talking about the magnitude of a non minimum phase system will be equal to the product of the magnitudes of minimum phase system into all pass system all pass system so that is the relation next regarding the phase angle that is angle of a non minimum phase system will be equal to the angle of minimum phase system plus angle of all pass system so this is the relationship between magnitude and phase among minimum phase systems non minimum phase systems minimum phase systems and all pass systems so these are some basic aspects that you must be clear before starting studying about body plots now we will try to solve this question so whenever you are supposed to solve this kind of a problem that means from a body plot to transfer function you have to find out so the plot which is given here is a body magnitude plot body magnitude plot it is called body magnitude plot and the structure will be like this on the x axis on the x axis you will have this semi logarithmic semi -log logarithmic frequencies or i can say the values plotted on the x axis will be log omega okay and body plot will be plotted on a semi log sheet it will be plotted on what semi log sheet and x axis represents log omega and uh, the y axis represents nothing but the magnitude of the transfer function in decibels please keep that in mind magnitude in decibels so when you try to observe this body magnitude plot it will have basically two regions so this region which you see here and it closer to this y axis is called as a low frequency region and uh, this region which you see here is a high frequency region so what you have to understand from a low frequency region and high frequency region is low frequency region means close to the y axis now you see how does the slope or how does this plot start with respect to y axis if you observe here from the y axis itself there is a slope okay the magnitude started falling down and it is falling down with some slope and slope of that particular plot slope of this magnitude will be what y by x isn't it what is y magnitude what is x log omega that means your slope is fall in magnitude with respect to log omega with respect to log omega means we will try to find out the differences between decade frequencies decade frequency is nothing but if two frequencies are like this omega 2 is equal to 10 times of omega 1 so the difference or the ratio of omega 2 by omega 1 is one decade isn't it so that is called as omega that is called as decade frequency so we will say how much decibels per decade how many decibels per decade so generally generally one pole what one pole can produce some slope 
and how much is that slope one pole will give you a slope of minus 20 decibels per decade and one zero can produce a slope of plus 20 decibels per decade now when you observe the low frequency region or at the y-axis you see that the curve started with a slope the curve itself started with a slope when the curve is itself starting with a slope at the low frequency region that indicates there is a zero or pole at origin if that slope is a negative slope that means there is a pole at origin if that slope is a positive slope there is a zero at origin and uh, from this you can see there is a negatively going slope which is minus 40 decibels per decade that means there are poles at origin now i told that one pole means 20 db per decade minus 20 db per decade now the slope is minus 40 means there are two poles at origin there are two poles at origin two poles at origin so i got uh, two poles location so i got one pole is i mean two poles are one by s square so if you look at the transfer function you immediately look at those transfer function which are having two poles at origin so from that i can directly eliminate option a and option c because option a option c says that there is only s s only one pole at origin but it is clearly evident that there are two poles at origin okay right so option b and d can be the answer so if i parallelly try to frame the transfer function let us say transfer function will have a line like this isn't it so one pole is s square right i got one pole as s square right next where is a corner frequency corner frequency is nothing but it is the frequency where slope will change if there is a positive change in slope positive change in slope means if the slope is trying to increase that means that corner frequency represents whom it represents a zero and if at a corner frequency the slope is further going down it is becoming more negative that means that corner frequency corresponds to a pole now if you see here at this point there is a change in slope how much change in slope is there initially the slope was minus 40 db per decade now it became my plus minus 60 db per decade that means slope has further reduced by minus 20 so what is the change in slope minus 20 db is the change in slope minus 20 db change in slope means minus 20 corresponds to whom one pole so what is that frequency where it is taking place so at frequency 2 you are getting one pole you are getting one pole at frequency is equal to 2 so that how i will write is i will write in time constant form in time constant form is nothing but 1 plus st so this is only called as the time constant form isn't it 1 by 1 plus st means time constant if you take inverse of time that is only the omega isn't it 1 by time or inverse of time is frequency isn't it so 1 by omega is nothing but time so i will write in this form so what is that form i got 1 plus s by at what omega at 2 i got one pole that is a pole next year you look at this point here also there is a change in frequency what was the change in slope initially the slope was minus 60 db per decade now here what has become the slope slope became minus 40 db per decade that means a slope decreased or i can say how much a slope has been shifted plus 20 db has been shifted is it slope that means at this corner frequency there is a zero so i will write down the zero also so 1 by 1 plus s by 5 now look at this point here here also there is change in the slope how much change in slope minus 40 to minus 60 again you are having a slope of how much minus 20 db per decade that means one pole at 25 so i will write down 1 by 1 plus s by 25 so now you got locations of poles and zeros and every transfer function in general will have a dc gain k so the process of finding out the transfer function from the border plot will be fulfilled by the finding out the value of k now the challenge is after doing this next step is you should try finding out the value of k and this is where many students face a lot of difficulty now you try to uh, inculcate that way of thinking that i am applying in solving this question because i am not a rocket engineer i am not a rocket scientist i am a very ordinary student and a below average student like you so maybe my way of thinking or my way of approach to this problem might suit to your frequency and it might be helpful for you to solve this whenever you are supposed to find the value of k what you will do is first put is equal to 
write 20 log k what you will write 20 log k here before is equal to there should be some magnitude in decibels let us say i want to find out what is the initial magnitude so where magnitude is known over here sir only one magnitude is only known or given in this particular graph in this graph he says that the border magnitude plot started at a magnitude 80 decibels so that is the only magnitude that is known to you there is no other way so i will write here 80 decibels this is 80 and 80 decibel has started okay 80 decibel has started and it is started with what slope minus 40 isn't it it started with how much slope minus 40 so i will write minus 40 80 is equal to minus 20 log k minus 40 log omega so this is the standard formula let us say the graph itself started with a positively going slope then it would have been plus what is that slope value log omega now the question is what is the value of omega so omega is that value or that frequency where this magnitude exists as simple as that so at what frequency your magnitude this 80 is there in the graph you look at here what is that frequency 0 0.1 always the frequency starts at 0 0.1 so that thing again you have to keep in mind always this point this point which is origin the origin of this graph is always 0 0.1 omega understood the value of that omega is 0 0.1 so what i will do i will put omega 0 0.1 when i am putting omega 0 0.1 that is nothing but 10 power minus 1 so upon solving this what it will become it will be equal to 80 is equal to 20 log k minus 40 log when you are just putting log means it is log to the base 10 isn't it so 0.1 can be written as 10 power minus 1 so minus 1 will go here that will become what plus 40 log 10 to the base 10 will be equal to 1 so finally upon solving i will get this value 20 log k will be equal to 40 80 minus 40 is 40 2 then k will be equal to what 10 power 2 which is equal to 100 understood i got the value of k as 100 so what i will do now i will put k equal to 100 and then i will solve this i will try to convert this into a pole zero form like this because this is in time constant form and upon solving like this i will get 1000 s plus 5 divided by s square plus s plus 2 into s plus 25 so if you look at the option which option matches option b so option b is the right answer for this question i hope you like this video and my intention in this video is to teach to a below average student or a beginner student who is not much aware about Bode plot but he knows that Bode plot is very important. Thank you for watching.